Hello everyone and welcome to our Bible study. I believe everyone is well by the grace of God. Amen. Today, our topic is, is a question about faith. About faith. A lot of people experience or struggle with lack of faith. This is our topic today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this. Another opportunity, Lord, to come to you to seek your wisdom in your word, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for this wonderful time that you've given us, Lord God, that you allow us to congregate, Lord God. Even this is a virtual congregate, uh, you allow us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful ministry. Lord, we ask your leading. We ask your uh, personal encounter to every one of us uh, you may speak us Lord God according to your uh, message today Lord God and uh, give us the spirit of your of understanding of your word so we can delight for your blessing today we thank you for everything. For you deserve glory, you deserve honor, you deserve highest praise, you deserve the worship. In your name, O Lord Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> ayan, make a love shout out sa inyong lahat. Ayan, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsama ngayon. Ang ating pong paksa or ating uh, topic is about faith. The question is why do we why do many people uh, struggle with lack of faith? Why? <laughs> this is the question. And uh, the Apostle Paul exhorts a Christian to walk by faith and not by sight. Second Second Corinthians uh, five seven says for we walk by faith, not by sight. What we see here is a contrast between truth and perception. What we know and believe to be true and what we perceive to be true. This is where the Christian struggle with lack of faith find its basis. The main reason why so many Christians or many people struggle with lack of faith is that the fellow our perce perce uh, perceptions of what is true rather than we know to be true by faith. Perhaps go before going any further, it may be helpful to come up with a working definition of faith. So what is faith? Faith, contrary to popular opinion, is not belief without proof. This is the definition that many skeptics give for faith. This definition reduces faith to mere pedism. For example, I believe despite that the evidence tell us. O maniniwala ako kung nakita ko mismo. This is somehow the definition of faith to others. The skeptics are right to reject this concept of faith and Christians should reject it too. Faith is not belief without proof or belief despite of evidence. Rather, faith is a complete 
trust or confidence in someone or something. That trust or confidence we have in someone is built up over time as he proves himself faithful time or faithful time to time again. Christianity is faith based on religion. It is based on faith in God and His Son, Jesus Christ. God has provided us with His Word, the Holy Bible, as a testimony of His faithfulness to His people all throughout history. In its bare essentials, Christianity is paid in the person and work of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus or Jesus Christ claimed to be the promised Messiah and the Son of God. His life was one of perfect righteousness according to the revealed law of God. His death was an atoning sacrifice for the sins of his people and he was raised to life three days after his death when we place our faith and trust in in the lord jesus alone for our for our salvation god takes our sin in the places it on the cross of christ and awards us by grace, with the perfect righteousness of Christ. That, in a nutshell, is the Christian message. As Christians, we are called to believe this message and live in light of, of it. Despite this, Christian is still a struggle with believing the biblical account because it doesn't match up with our perception of reality. We may not believe that Jesus was a real person. We may believe that he died by crucifixion at the hand of the Romans. We may even believe that he led a perfect life according to God's law. But we don't see how faith in Christ make us righteous before God. We can see Jesus atoning for our sins. We can't see or perceive any of the great truths of Christianity, and therefore, we struggle with lack of faith. As a result of this lack of percep perception, our lives open. Do not reflect that fact that we really believe that we claim to believe. There are many reasons for this phenomenon among Christians. The main reason we struggle with faith is that we don't truly know the God in whom uh, who profess to have faith why do so many people struggle with lack of faith the main reason we struggle with lie with pay with the faith is that we don't truly know the god in whom who, who we profess to be to have faith Hindi natin kilala ang Diyos. Ito yung rason kung bakit tayo minsan nawawalan tayo ng faith or pananampalataya. Dahil hindi natin kilala ang Diyos na nagbibigay ng faith, ng pinagagalingan ng faith. In our daily lives, we don't trust complete strangers 
sa ating buhay pag may nakilala tayo na isang tao at hindi natin uh, first time pa lang natin nakilala of course we don't trust the more intimately we know someone and the more time to have had to see him in action the more likely we are to believe that he says but if god is essentially a stranger to us we are less likely to believe that he has said in his word the only cure for this is to spend more time in god's word getting to know him Madalas sinasabi natin kilala natin ang Diyos. Pero nakikita sa ating mga gawa, nakikita sa ating mga gesture, sa ating attitude na hindi natin kilala ang Diyos. Kagaya ng mga nangyayari sa paligid natin. Madalas we are shaking. We are shaking for the suddenly reaction. The only cure for this is to spend more time in God's Word getting to know Him. How to get, uh, how to know God more, more and more. Read the Bible. Reading the Bible is the key to know God. Kasi pagkilala natin ang Diyos, alam natin ang kapangyarihan niya, alam natin ang kanyang uh, plano sa buhay natin, then, dapat pa ba tayong matakot? Alam natin ang buhay natin ay para sa Diyos? Alam natin na ang ginagawa natin ay para sa uh, kalooban ng Diyos? Alam natin na sinusunod natin ang ang sinasabi ng Diyos then dapat ba tayong matakot if God is with us who will be against us the world the flesh and the, and the devil often distract us by the world is meant the accepted wisdom of the unbelieving world and the culture in which we find ourselves for those of us living in for example in Europe and North America that dominant worldwide is naturalism materialism skepticism and atheism the flesh repairs to our sinful nature that still clings to Christian and which we struggle on a daily basis the devil, the devil repairs to Satan and his horde of evil spirit who excite and entice, entice us through the world and our senses. Things, these things all afflicts us and cause us to struggle with pain. Ano pa yung mga nakakapagpahina ng pananampalataya natin? na ating faith yung mga uh, paligid natin itong uh, mundo na pagmamayari ni Satan uh, sa ngayon this is the dominion of Satan this world so ala uh, lahat ng nakikita natin posible na tayo ma ma-enticed or madala o ma ma-divert yung ating mga attention kung tayo nakapokus sa Diyos ang ginagawa ng kaaway is to divert sa pamamagitan ng uh, senses for example ang mga advertising advertisement sa TV sa television it shows us to entice yung mga pagkain 
na inadvertise na talaga namang hin- ang hirap uh, ang hirap um, tanggihan yung mga uh, lost napakarami ng mga um, that's why Christian need to be constantly reminded of what Christ has done for us and what our response should be. The Apostle Paul says, faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ according to Romans 10.17. Our faith is built up as we have the gospel continual preaching to us. Our churches need to be built on the solid preaching of the word and regular observance of the ordinances. Instead, too many churches spend their time, energy, and resources on the creation of programs that neither feed the sheep nor draw a clear distinction between godliness and ungodliness. Consider the example of Israelites in the Old Testament. God had performed great miracles in 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 rescuing his chosen people from slavery in Egypt. The ten plucks, the pillar of smoke and fire, and the crossing of the Red Sea. God brings his people to the foot of Mount Sinai, gives them a law, and makes covenant with them. No sooner does he do this than the the people begin to grumble and lose faith. With Moses gone up on the mountain, the people convinced Aaron, Moses' brother, to construct an idol. Idol means against God clear provision for them to worship according to Exodus 32, 1-6. They were no longing, longer walking by faith but by sight. Despite all the clear miracles God did in the redemption of they lost faith and began to go their perception. That's why God instructed the new generation of Israelites before going to the promised land to continually remind themselves of what God had done for them. And this word that I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk to them of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. This is according to Deuteronomy 6, 6 and 7. God knows that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, according to Mark 14, 38. And so, he commands his people to be constant remembrance of these things. We need to hear the example of the disciple Thomas. When Thomas heard the stories of the resurrection, he wouldn't believe them until he saw Jesus with his own two eyes. Jesus accommodated Thomas' lack of faith by making an appearance to him and allowing him to see and touch him. We remember this story that Thomas, doubting Thomas, we called uh, to this apostle, Doubting Thomas. Hindi siya naniwala agad na nabuhay ang Panginoong Isus. At sabi niya, kung hindi ko makikita uh, ang Panginoong Isus at hindi ko mahawakan, ay hindi ako maniniwala.
Thomas lack of faith by making an appearance to him and allowing him to see and touch him. Sabi ng Panginoon sa halika, hawakan mo to. Hawakan mo ko. Thomas responds in worship and Jesus says, says to him, You have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Amen. Many skeptics today echo Thomas' sentiments. Unless I see Jesus face to face, I will not believe. We must not behave as the unbelievers do. We need to continually believe in a mind of Paul's exhortation to walk by faith rather than sight. We learn in the book of Hebrews that without faith, it is impossible to please God. According to Hebrews 11.6 Because faith is believing the word of God and acting upon it, not responding our perceptions. Amen? Amen. So we should have belief. Kahit hindi natin nakikita, importante, meron tayong pananampalataya. Meron tayong, uh, we stand firm in the faith. Because sabi ng Panginoon Jesus, Blessed are those who have not seen, yet have believed. Mapalad ang mga tao na hindi nila nakikita pero naniniwala sila. God is a spirit, hindi natin nakikita pero naniniwala tayo. So this is faith. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful revelation of truth, for this wonderful encouragement, wonderful exhortation, Lord, that you've given us today, Lord. Thank you for your message today, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, you may continue, Lord, to work in our lives as we strengthen our faith, help us to do focus And help us to overcome to uh, our unbelief, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for everything. You deserve glory. You deserve honor. You deserve the highest praise. You deserve the worship. In your name, O Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Ayan, mega, mega love shout out sa inyong lahat po. Ayan, maraming salamat po sa isa na namang pinagsaluhan natin. Ang... Pagpapala ng Diyos na araw-araw ay binibigyan tayo ng kalakasan ng Panginoon. Araw-araw ay binibigyan tayo ng mga pagpapala na kagaya nito. Uh, minsan hindi natin nakikita yung mga pagpapala ito. Pero God is working. God is working in your life. God is working in your family. God is working in your work, in your job, in your work. God is working. Nandoon siya. Hindi man natin nakikita, pero gumagawa siya. Nandoon siya sa buhay natin. Ayan, praise God. At araw-araw tayo magpasalamat sa Panginoon dahil ang dami-dami niyang pagpapala. Every day, is a pressing of blessing every day as a lot of um, experience and every day is opportunity to worship God really our life is only to worship God alone nothing else. This life was for God. Amen? Amen. Ayan. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. Maraming salamat po sa mga nagsishare ng ating premiere. Ayan. Ang pagpapala po ng Diyos ay nasa inyong sambahayan. 
dahil kung ano po yung uh, sinishare ninyo ang salita ng Diyos, sinishare nyo po ang pagpapala ng Diyos, ang um, natutuwa po ang Diyos sa inyo at meron pong nakahandang uh, reward sa inyo, sabi po sa Bible. There are rewards to be given to all those um, diligent in working to the ministry of God. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow. See you in the uh, in the same day, the same time. I'm sorry. I'm very excited. The same time po bukas. Ayan, magkita-kita po tayo muli. Ayan, maraming salamat sa inyo pong lahat. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.